Hello students, welcome to Saurabh's classes. My name is Ashmita and in today's class we are going to talk about SSC MTS, the latest notification which has been released uh, in the official website of SSC that is ssc.nic.in. This is the official website of Staff Selection Commission. Let me tell you, Staff Selection Commission, that is the SSC, conducts the All India Entrance Examinations for the recruitment of multitasking staff in uh, numerous uh, central government departments and uh, ministries and other offices. And uh, this MTS exam, that is uh, first Tile 1 written examination, has been scheduled uh, to be taken in June 2022 and uh, the online application would be available to all of you by 22nd of March this year. Now after the examination gets over you will be able to see your result uh, in the official website only that is ssc.nic.in. Candidates who have passed the class 10th examination that is high school examination from a recognized board are normally eligible to apply for this uh, SSC MTS examination and your age criteria, the criteria under which you can apply to this SSC MTS examination is uh, ranging between 18 years to 25 years. SSC MTS uh, Tile 1 paper will be basically a computer based test which will consist of 100 MCQ type questions and the duration of the SSC MTS examination will be of 90 minutes. Now, paper 2 of uh, Tire 1 will be a descriptive type paper of 30 minutes and uh, this paper, that is uh, paper 2, will carry 50 marks. There will be a marks deduction also of uh, 1 by 4 for every wrong attempt. Now, what is basically SSC MTS? Staff Selection Commission is a recruitment body under the Government of India and is responsible for conducting recruitment for various posts. Um, along with the multitasking staff, the Group C non-gazetted and non-ministerial post in the central government ministries or offices or departments in, the, in various states and union territories. Now, SSC is solely responsible to conduct the examinations uh, starting from uh, uh, like conducting the examination first, then candidate evaluation, then question paper setting, then result publication to handling um, of the posting of successful candidates. Um, so basically this SSC MTS is a recruitment examination that is conducted in two phases about which I have already discussed, that is paper 1 and paper 2. Now let me tell you, the mode of application for this uh, examination would be made online, that is uh, starting from the 22nd of March, you have to fill, it, uh, fill up for this, for this examination um, through online mode. You have to uh, pay an application fee also after filling up the application form, otherwise your form wouldn't be accepted completely. Now for the unreserved category candidates, let me tell you, for male, you have to pay rupees 100 as your application fees. For OBC male, you have to pay rupees 100 for this application. For EWS male, you have to pay rupees 100. For reserved category, uh, you do not have to pay anything. For females from any category, you do not have to pay anything. Let us talk about the exam mode now. I have already told you that your application mode would be online. Now, exam mode would be uh, for paper 1, uh, computer based and for paper 2, it would be descriptive type. Now, the exam duration uh, for paper 1 would be 2 hours and for paper 2, it would be 30 minutes. The language of the question paper would be both in English as well as in Hindi. Just because SSC uh, is conducting this examination in all India basis. So for central region, uh, there are 910 vacancies available. For the eastern region, there are 856 vacancies available. For Karnataka, Kerala region, there are 132 vacancies available. For Madhya Pradesh region, there are 83 vacancies available. For North Eastern region, 180 vacancies are available. 
for northern region 1534 vacancies are available for northwestern region 51 vacancies are available for northeastern region 274 vacancies are available for western region 1395 vacancies are available now uh, let us talk about the age limit and other criteria in details now as i told you that the candidate must have attained at least 18 years of age uh, before applying to this uh, examination and the maximum age would be 25 uh, while the, he or she is applying for this uh, exam and the date of birth mentioned in the matriculation certificate or equivalent ex or any kind of an equivalent examination will be considered for age calculation so basically the um, age which is provided in your class 10th admit card that would be considered for age calculation relaxations in the upper age limit are provided to the candidates belonging to the reserved categories now i'm going to talk about how much relaxation is given to each candidate now as i have told you the maximum age limit normally is 25 years beyond that you cannot apply for this examination but for certain reserved categories like for the sc st categories you can apply till 30 years of age for obc category candidates you can apply till 28 years of age for uh, physically handicapped in the general category candidates uh, you can apply till 35 years for physically handicapped SCST candidates you can apply till 40 years for ex servicemen in OBC category you can apply till 29 years for ex servicemen in SCST category you can apply till 33 years for candidates belonging to Jammu and Kashmir in general you can apply till 30 years for candidates belonging to OBC category from Jammu and Kashmir, you can apply till 33 years. For candidates belonging to Jammu and Kashmir uh, from the SCST category, you can apply till 35 years. Now, uh, minimum eligibility criteria for applying to this uh, examination is just uh, you have to pass class 10 from a recognized board or institution. Now, I have already told you about the official website that is www.ssc.nic.in. How can you apply for SSC MTS? In, March, uh, in the month of March, uh, you will be given the link to fill up the application form if you are, uh, if you are like, interested in giving this entrance examination. The first step that uh, candidates can follow is uh, going to ssc.nic.in website and there you will get to see the important announcements. From there you have to click on new registration to complete your registration process first. Now candidates will have to provide an active uh, mobile number as well as an active email ID while registering themselves and you cannot... Um, uh, like re register yourself with the same number or same email ID more than once. So use your number properly so that uh, you can uh, just fill it up yourself. So give a proper number uh, through which you can register and fill up the application form. The next step that you should follow is uh, you will be re uh, actually receiving one registration number and one password in your email ID. So that you have to uh, check and then you have to um, like note it down. Now that registration number and that password will help you to go over to the next part of the application form. After that you have to log in using your credential that is your um, registration number and your password and then you have to click on apply now. After that, you can uh, complete the application form by filling in your personal details like uh, your name, then your father's name, date of birth, along with uh, all the educational qualification details. Next, uh, you have to upload your scanned photograph, uh, like uh, your passport size photograph as well as your signature in JPG format, okay? And uh, this JPG format and other dimensions under which or within which you have to fill up or your scanned copy 
and everything would be written in the notification you just need to follow the notification there you will get to see within how many uh, within how much dimensions your um, like photograph should be and your signature should be so you have to first check the notification pdf and then you uh, scan your photograph and your signature passport size and while you are uploading your uh, documents uh, if it goes beyond the dimensions which is mentioned in the uh, notification pdf then it will uh, it won't be accepted it will tell you rejected so you can again resize your uh, passport size photograph and your signature and then it, you can re-upload it but until and unless it becomes the size of what they want they won't accept it suppose it can be under 20 kb to 50 kb so your photograph should be between 20 kb to, uh, to 50 kb the next step that you can uh, do is that um, you should be proceeding with the application form that is you should be filling it up entirely and uh, then you should be paying the application fees i have already told you which candidates have to pay how much amount uh, now this payment process is to be made successfully through net banking or through debit card or credit card uh, now uh, offline payment is not allowed so you have to do it and through any gateway but you have to do it from online only so you have to pay it online and the last step that you can follow is that please keep a receipt of the like payment a soft copy also and a hard copy also if possible uh, so that uh, even if it is required in uh, future references you can produce it so that was the entire discussion about uh, ssc mts notification um, hope so you are preparing well for this examination if you are serious with it and if you want to like uh, qualify it in one attempt only for your better preparation you need the guidance of a good mentor and a good coach and here at sorofsis classes we provide you with live lectures recorded lectures portal access crash course facilities, scholarship facilities, doubt clearing sessions, revision classes, mock test facilities. We also provide you with the solutions to, uh, to unsolved papers, to the previous year's question papers, mock test papers, and our solved study materials are available on Amazon and Flipkart also. You can buy from there or if you, buy from our, if you want to buy from our institution directly, then give us a call. Uh, our contact details are given in the description box below do call us and if you want to ask us about any kind of entrance examination or any kind of competitive examination or recruitment based uh, job preparation you want to do then you can definitely join our classes because here we teach for all kinds of competitive examinations and all kinds of exam preparation are done over here so if you want to uh, like ask us about any other entrance examinations also then also you can just give us a call or if you want to enroll yourself also you can give us a call and uh, we also have the official website uh, which you can visit that is uh, sorofsysclasses.com you can uh, check the link in the description box below that's the official website's link you can go there and you can enroll yourself from there also and you can get a glimpse of our classes from there also so that was all about uh, SSC MTS and all about this class also. Uh, we are going to meet once again in our next classes.